नमस्ते एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू मिलन एट जी आर ई आई एम पुनित आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ फ्री बिगिनर कोर्स फॉर द जी आर ई एंड आई अपलोडेड सेवरल चैप्टर्स इंक्लूडिंग परम्यूटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन प्रॉबेबिलिटी जोमेट्री एंड रेट एंड टाइम द गोल ऑफ दिस कोर्स इज टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वेरी स्क्रैच वाइल एंश्योरिंग दैट ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट आर कवर्ड कॉम्प्रीहेंसिवली इन दिस वीडियो वी बिगिन आर जर्नी इन टू स्टेटिस्टिक्स स्टार्टिंग विथ थ्री फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट मीन मीडियन एंड मोड we will first explore what these concepts are and then we will solve a few practice questions in the upcoming videos we will cover the remaining concepts such as range standard deviation percentiles quartiles box plot and normal distribution by the way if you have not noticed yet the theme for statistics is game of thrones all the questions will have some reference to the tv series spoiler alert and apologies if you have not watched it yet so let's get started the first concept that we will discuss is mean mean is also called average it's also called arithmetic mean mean average arithmetic mean all mean the same thing and how do we find mean mean is sum of all the terms upon total number of terms mean is essentially sum upon n where n is the total number of terms oh, is hand of the king yes but in his absence your father has named lord tyrion to serve as hand in his stead while he fights now, now i want you to pause the screen and give this question a try i hope you have done so now let's solve it together we are told tyrion served as hand under king joffrey for 30 months queen dinaris for 9 months and king bran for 36 months what is his average tenure average is same as mean we have to find average and average is sum of all the terms upon total number of terms there are three numbers given to us 39 and 36 and the number of terms are 3 if you add all the terms you will get 75 upon 3 the answer is 25 so his average tenure is 25 months the next concept that we discuss is median median is the middle term to find the median you have to first arrange the terms either in ascending order or in descending order and then check what is the middle term for instance let's say these are the five terms given to you the terms are already arranged in ascending order and the middle term is 6 so the median is 6 let's take another case these are the four terms give, given to you here you will notice there is no particular middle term if there is no particular middle term we take the average of two terms which are in the middle average of 4 and 6 is 5 hence the median is 5 if the number of terms are odd which is in the first case here the number of terms are 5 if the number of terms are odd there is a particular middle term and that is n plus 1 by 2th term here the number of terms are 5 so median is 5 plus 1 upon 2th term so 6 upon 2 third term median is the value of the third term and which is 6 here so the answer is 6 median is 6 if the number of terms are even here the number of terms are 4 which is even there is no particular middle term you have to take the average of two middle terms you have to take the average of n by 2th term and the next term here n is 4 so n by 2 will be 2 you have to take the average of second term and third term second term is 4 here third term is 6 here so median is 5 so let me reiterate everything median is the middle term to find the median you either arrange the terms in ascending order or in descending order if the number of terms are odd there is a particular middle term and that is n plus 1 by 2th term if the number of terms are even there is no particular middle term 
so the median is the average of the two middle terms median is the average of n by 2th term and the next term how do you know this that's what i do i drink and i know things i want you to pause the screen and give this question a try tyrian drinks 180 ml 60 ml 75 ml 90 ml and 30 m 300 ml of wine every day for 5 days respectively question a is asking what is the median wine consumption over 5 days to find the median we have to first arrange the terms either in ascending order or in descending order let's first arrange the terms in ascending order 60 75 90 180 300 and then let's find the middle term here the middle term is 90 hence the answer is 90 let's talk about the b part what's the median wine consumption for the first 4 days this are the wine consumption for the first 4 days so let's arrange them in ascending order 60 75 90 180 here the number of terms are even so there is no particular middle term we have to take the average of the two middle terms we have to take the average of 75 and 90 this will give you 165 upon 2 or 82.5 and this is the answer for the b part i again want you to pause the screen and try this question i hope you have done so now let's solve it together tian slaps joffrey twice on the first day on the first day he slaps him twice then the number of daily slaps increases by 2 each day so that means on the second day he would slap joffrey four times on the third day the number of slaps will increase by 2 it will become 6 on the fourth day it will become 8 then 10 12 14 so on and so forth if this continues until joffrey is slapped 72 times so this continues till the number becomes 72 what's the median slaps per day here you will notice something this is a particular sequence 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 up till 72 this sequence is called arithmetic progression the terms are set to be in ap or arithmetic progression if there is a constant difference between any two consecutive terms here if you take any two consecutive terms the difference is 2 there is a constant difference of 2 hence the terms are in ap now if the terms are in ap there is a particular property median is equal to first term plus last term upon 2 in any arithmetic progression median is equal to first term plus last term upon 2 here the first term is 2 last term is 72 so the median is 74 upon 2 or 37 the answer is 37 you have to remember this property in any arithmetic progression median is equal to first term plus last term upon 2 and that is also equal to its mean so in any ap mean is always equal to its median which is equal to first term upon last term upon 2 notice that this is only for ap not for any random sequence we have discussed mean we have discussed median the next concept is mode mode is the value which has the highest frequency or the value which occurs maximum number of times let's understand this concept of mode through a question i want you to pause the screen and give this question a try hope you have done so now let's solve it together let's talk about part a tyrian delivers these many witty remarks on four different days here you will notice seven has the highest frequency seven appears twice hence mode is seven mode is the value that has the highest frequency seven is the highest frequency hence mode is seven let's talk about part b these are the numbers given to you here you notice 3 and 7 both have the highest frequency hence here modes are 3 and 7 there can be multiple modes as well let's talk about part c 
टू थ्री सेवन ऑल हैव द सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑल अपियर ट्वाइस यू हैव टू आस्क योर सेल्फ वॉट इज दैट वैल्यू दैट हैज द हाइएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी यू विल रियलाइज नो वैल्यू हियर हैज द हाइएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी सो हियर देर इज नो मोड सिमिलरली इफ दीज वर द थ्री नंबर्स गिवन टू यू एंड यू आर आस्ड वॉट इज द मोड देर इज नो मोड If all the terms or all the values have the same frequency, then there is no mode. You can have one mode. You can have more than one modes. You can have zero mode as well. And with this, we come to the conclusion of the first video on statistics. We discussed three fundamental concepts today: mean, median, and mode. in the remaining videos we will cover the other concepts in the next video we will do range and standard deviation see you soon thank you for watching this